Hi, Air Signs. Welcome to your weekly energy reading for January 6th through the 12th. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Take a look at the energies for you, 6th through 12th. Keep in mind, this just could be messages or energies you need to hear right now. May not necessarily come into fruition in the coming week, or it may, or, you know, whatever you're about only take what resonates uh, always as a, within uh, every reading. So let's see what's going on for the air signs. Welcome in, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year. Let's see what's going on. 6 through the 12th, love, life, and advice. Take a little look-see at love, life, and then your advice. So let's see what we have here for the air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So a lot of information in the description box, so check it out below. Uh, decks I'm using, social media links, uh, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift, anything like that. Lots of stuff down there, so please feel free to check it out. So let's see what's going on in love for the air signs. We have here, get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. We have 44, double number here which is about uh, foundation, basis, structure, stability. It's a double number. You wouldn't really add that together, but if you did, it's eight, and that's about taking action, communication, travel, that kind of energy. So it could be getting to know somebody new here. And then we have here, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. 84, which is uh, 12, which is three which is about, you know, working on something, uh, teamwork, collaboration, getting to know one another. So this could be a new uh, connection here and really putting in the effort to get to getting to know one another. Um, and if it's not like to the love level yet, it's just demonstrating interest in one another, um, caring, listening, um, conversations here, and really spending quality time together to really uh, get to know one another. Hmm. Some nice energy. All right, so let's see what's going on in life for you, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius at this time. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Thank you, thank you. If you're a new subscriber, if you've tipped or donated, reached out for a reading, sent a gift, whatever you've done to support the channel, I truly, truly appreciate it. Could not do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get a little look-see at love for ear, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius at this time. Pulling that one. And we have ear energy here, a dragonfly. And I'm going to read a little bit um, about these before I clarify when we do the tarot. So now we have earth here with lion. So, and I believe the dragonfly is very spiritual energy and a lot, the lion is being, you know, very grounded, very, uh, stable, strong, um, go-getter, passionate kind of energy. Hmm, okay. So let's see what your advice is for the week. I do ask ear signs. If you're new, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see. Please feel free to subscribe. I love and comment. I love to read the comments. You know, like, share, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit the bell. I do a lot of different readings a month. So if you like what you see and you subscribe, thank you. All right, air signs. What's your advice for the week? Your advice for the week for the air signs. What's the advice for the week for the air signs? Whoa. All right, we have dance. Eight. Again, taking action, movement, travel, communication, dance, being in a high vibration, celebrating, having a good time, being happy and joyous. We have here genetic memory, which is one. So I'll read a little bit about those. And I see a lot of blue here, which is the throat chakra energy also with blue. So that could be about, you know, clarity, decision making, Open, honest, truthful communication of some kind. Being honest. Being yourself. Being true to who you are. Being yourself. Genetic memory. I'm going to read a little bit about that. That's like your DNA, your ancestors, your... Um, that kind of energy. Like that 
those genes, that genetic uh, composition within you is all a part of like your subconscious uh, memory. What makes uh, you, you is everything from your ancestors to, you know, everything in your lineage. So, so let's see over here, demonstrate love and get to know each other. What's that about for the air signs? I feel like this is something new for some of you. We have the magicians. Yeah, so manifesting new. That's a new beginning. One, new beginning, manifesting something new. Ten of Cups. Wow. So this could lead to total happiness, joy, and fulfillment. Happy home and family. Six of Swords, going in a better direction, going to a better place. Oh, if there was conflict here, for some of you, if you've been in a relationship, uh, this is just like getting to know each other all over again. Yeah, balancing out the energies with temperance here. Balancing out the energies once again, getting over conflict, this petty energy, um, and just taking this into a better place. This could already be like a long-term commitment, marriage for some. And you're like manifesting like a whole new beginning with your person, balancing out all the energies, going into more conflict, peaceful place, leaving all the garbage behind that you... Uh, bicker and um, squabble over kind of ace of cups yeah so that's this usually a brand new beginning in love but it's almost like having like a new start brand new beginning um, if you were separated from this person I feel like you're coming back together and it's gonna be better than it was before like you know now how to be with one another and what what was with you know before didn't work so now it's like you're taking this in a whole new direction for some of you you may be a little conflicted about starting like getting to know somebody new um you might have a little inner conflict about that about that new beginning but i feel like you get over that because you've got this divinely guided brand new beginning and love for some of you that could lead to the ten of cups you've got the ace of cups all the way to the ten right off the bat so this is someone that going and traveling and going into a better place that could go in that direction down the road of being like a long-term, happy, harmonious, loving, balanced uh, connection here and manifesting this by getting to know one another and spending time together. So a couple of uh, energies there. So take whatever resonates for you, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So let's see this dragonfly. I want to read a little bit about that one here before I clarify that unexpected guidance surprising grace transcendence the dragonfly card serves as a symbol as of unexpected grace found in difficult places these flying insects often congregate in swampy marshes where they eat mosquitoes and other sting insects um, So, yeah, this is just transcendence, like getting through something and unexpected guides. And they got the lion there. So that's like being strong, courageous, and brave. Um, let me just read. Yeah, strength, generosity, maj majesty, and protection. So I feel like, you know, whatever you're going through here, I think you're going to get through it. You know, just be strong, courageous, and brave. Um and you will transcend through if there's any difficult difficulties right now. And you may get, like I said there, unexpected guidance from somebody around you. Okay, so let's see what this is about. So we have the Six of Coins. So yeah, getting your balance once again. Equal give and take, reciprocity. Things going in your favor. Minor Arcana of the um, just, Justice card. Now you have the Knight of Coins. So slow, practical approach here being smart and uh then you got the ace of coins wow the king of coins wow this could really be about work career or work something could have happened um the three of swords there can be something hurtful and painful um kind of energy whether you lost your job and you're trying to transcend through that trying to find a new job um just remain strong brave keep going because you will get your balance you know, keep going forward. It's a slow, hard, practical journey, but you will get your Ace of Coins, something new, new job offer, and then you will be a King of Coins here, King or Queen, doesn't matter. I feel like this Three of Swords is something hurtful that had happened in your career. Like I said, whether you lost your job or something like that, 
or just something just happened in the career in your career that was very hurtful but you're gonna have like a restart here things are gonna get better you're gonna get balance just take smart practical approach moving forward just keep moving forward um, being very uh, grounded because you have that ace of coins so that's like a brand new beginning of some kind um, could be a windfall of money coming in. It could be uh, a promotion or something like that, getting a raise. Eight of Wands here. So, and that's the communication coming in. Very fast, passionate um, communication of some kind coming into you. So this could be like a new job offer or a raise or a promotion or a windfall of money comes at you quickly. And you quickly can get over this... Um, hurt that you were feeling and you'll be standing in your king or queen of coins abundant fruitful uh stable and grounded that you will transcend through this just remain strong and vigilant all right so let's see now we have dance and we have genetic memory i want to read a little bit about this genetic memory which is the very first card in the deck so let's see um Genetic memory represents all that we have ever been. It embodies all we have ever experienced, all that we have ever encountered, and all that we have ever understood. It represents all that our body inherently recognizes without explanation. No knowledge that cannot be justified or rationalized. It is a fair argument, therefore, that our body remembers the memories of everything ever witnessed by us since the beginning of time. So... That, that's just like your, yeah, your, your lineage, your ancestors, your maybe even from past lives, all that is embodied into your genetic uh, composition and memory. So, you know, appreciate who you are, where you came from, uh, your lineage, your ancestors, whatever it is for you. You know, be honest and open and be yourself and be in that high vibration with the dance energy there just be happy so that's your advice so some of you may have just found out uh that maybe you did a dna test or you did something and you found out wow um i didn't know i was this nationality or that nationality and maybe you're related to some people you didn't even know um maybe some of you were a little embarrassed or um like i can't believe i'm related to that person you know but you know queen of wands being that fiery passionate king or queen energy just you know be who you are true to who you are four of wands will bring you stability here in your home your life the sun so happiness and joy in every single way and in, in every single aspect of your life everything in your life positive with the sun energy so a lot of fire you see a lot of fiery energy here so that's being truth true to who you are what you are where you came from everything about you your heritage your lineage whatever here just stand up and be proud of the queen of wands you'll be so much more stable in your home life your life all around and you'll have so much happiness in every aspect of your life success victory growth expansion and the queen of cups so loving who you are loving who you are yeah five of cups so i had that feeling that that's sadness loss and hurts but then the fool is like resetting at zero. So I feel like you may have found out some of you, this may not resonate with everybody that you related to. Maybe it could have been someone famous or somebody, you know, in your lineage, your ancestry. And you're like, oh my God, maybe they weren't such a great person or they, whatever the situation was. And you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I, you know, I'm related to that person. But this is like, you know what? It is what it is. So I'm just going to, Accept it for what it is and clear the slate that that is not me. I am who I am with the queen, king, cups, wands, and just shining your light with the sun energy and being true to who you are and what you are. Wow. Okay. So now the bottom of the deck, nine of swords, so stress, worry, anxiety here, but you know, having truth and clarity, epiphany moment, like, you know, it is what it is. I can't change that. There's no no use being all stressed a lot of mind energy here now with the two of swords like like you can't believe this kind of energy but then you have healing energy here with the star faith hope optimism which is coming true healing energy so just healing that energy 
and uh, saying it is what it is. No need to be all up in my head about it with all these uh, swords and just realizing the sword of clarity, truth, success, victory, epiphany, you know, cutting away energy is no longer serving you, standing up for yourself and having truthful communication, new beginning here, the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles. So a lot of good energy here for you, air signs. So best of luck to you, air signs, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.